Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going to the fifth world, 5 1 to be exact. This is where things start to get a little more complicated in the game, especially the maps. This has probably got the most complicated map in the game, I would say, and there's some weird, stretchy piranha plants there, and uh, when they're stretching their heads out, they don't move, but when they're not, they do move, so just watch their pattern, and yeah, you can do it like that, and freeze them, whatever, I, I'm still Ice Mario from the last world, needless to say, and what do we have here? Yeah! Ha-ha! I've seen that secret. You can fool me. And, uh, yeah, that was star coin number one. What the heck just happened there? Did it just, like, kill itself when I froze it and then it touched the other prana? Yeah, that must be what it does. Is that when you freeze something and it touches something else and it doesn't have enough room, it, uh, uh must just, just, like, destroy itself, like, crack apart or something, I don't know, and, uh, these prana plants evidently have some pretty bad gas, because they're blowing the spiky ball up there, which hurts, in case you wouldn't realize that. And you can go in here for star coin number two, and there's a fish guarding the other area, that's why I decided to go on that side. And there's the midpoint, and let's just take a look around here. Oh, you could get, uh, unlimited one-ups here if you got a turtle on top of one of those stairs there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's possible to do here. Maybe. Uh, I, I'm... Well, maybe it's not. Uh, I'm, wait, wait, can I, like... Just for the fun of it, can I, like, drop a Koopa shell by holding down and... No, I can't. Okay, so it's it's not possible to do it here. Oh, there's some flowers I can get some coins for. For, uh... Shaking the Wii Remote next to... What the heck?! I didn't mean to press down! Well, I'm pretty close to where I was before, you know, with the whole checkpoint thing there, so... <laughs> Did not mean to do that whatsoever. Ugh. That was quite silly, I have to say. So, back in 5-1 here, with no powers this time, and... Was there any powers in these boxes? That's kind of important to me, now that I don't have anything in my... Uh, inventory here. Oh, there we go. There's a mushroom. I can, I can live with that. Can you live with that, Mario? You're gonna have to, and don't press down this time. And I need to get a better rhythm here. There we go. There we go. Woo! There! And there's a nice ice flower for me. And can I freeze the spiky ball? I always wondered that. Like, can I? No, you can. Okay, just wanted to make sure of that. Oh, it's these things from Yoshi's Island. Uh, you stand on one end, and yeah, if you go on the other end, they go the other way, basically. Like, if I stand on here, it'll go the opposite way. And I see that there's a red coin challenge thingy. Hey, no, no, no. It's evidently in Y formation, but I can get them all. Gotta catch him. Oh, yeah, this is only for a one-up. Come on, like, I need that. With 99 lives. <sighs> Wait, I see a secret. I see some cutoff area. Oh, just some coins. What a rip-off. Where's the last star coin? I kind of forgot. I remember those first two, but I just don't remember the last one. I'm sure I'll remember it once I... Ah, I remember. Once I see it, you go into here and through that pipe, and you'll come to this area. And the star coin is up there. And Paul Block for the win. Uh, uh, kills them all in one shot. Well, oh, I guess not the uh, Patooies over there. I believe they're called Patooies, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I don't feel like looking it up, obviously, in the middle of a video. And that'll transport you out here. Grab the vine on top. I said Mario on top of the blocks. Come on. Just gotta get on the vine on top of... Okay, maybe I just won't do that. <laughs> well, what's in these loads of flowers here, just for the fun of it? As long as I'm down here, you know, obviously not getting on top of those blocks. Woo! And there we go! And that's 5-1. <laughs> Woo! That makes me very happy. So now I can go to a split path, if I'm not mistaken. And you'll notice that the split path leads to that piranha plant's overworld event minigame thing there, whatever you want to call it. Um, it really doesn't matter which path that you take, because he's most likely gonna... Or maybe not. I would, I would actually like to him to, yeah, like that, because I want to show off this little battle area thing. Um, as long as I'm here, I also should uh, explain the map of this area. Um, when 
You'll notice that there's like these thorny, brambly thingies blocking the way of paths, you know, on the overworld, and every time you beat a level, or lose a level, whatever, I think, uh, they will change their positioning. Like, watch the one in front of that mushroom house there. Uh, no, it didn't do it. Um, well, there was some vines over there. Well, they if they were there, you couldn't go over there right away because they'll be blocking your path, obviously. But every time, as I said, you go through level, you unlock, or I shouldn't say unlock, you change your positionings of those vines. Anyway, let's go to 5-2. Uh, was it 5-2? I don't know, actually. I think it was 5-2. The reason why I say that is because the, there's, as I said, a split path here, and it's either 5-2 or 5-3. Oh, and also we get some wigglers here. If you jump on them, we'll get all ticked off and Arr! snarly teeth. Arr! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Um, as you can see, they're fireproof. I believe they're also iceproof as well. I'm not sh Wait, maybe they... Can they be froze? I'm not sure about that. I know these big ones can't be froze, that's for sure. Ooh, I need to be down there. I need to be down there! Yeah! I needed that star coin. I could have waited for that second ride over there. Yeah, you can bounce on these to get a little lift to get whatever you need to get. And... Uh, that's poison water. In case you don't realize, it's quite glowy, it's quite toxic, and it'll kill you in one hit! Yay! That's actually not good, so why am I celebrating? Ow! No, oh, Bouncy! There we go. Ugh. Wild Zubat appeared! They are not that good! Oh, shoot! Why did I even try jumping on them? I should have just went on ahead. Kill all Zubat! Yeah! Actually, I think they're swoopers, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm expecting a... Whoa! Wiggler like that. Woo! As you can see, their bodies are very rubbery. That's why kids use them as trampolines all day long. And then they get accused for animal abuse, and then it's just trouble all over the place. But you know kids, they always cause a lot of trouble. <sighs> anyway, let's just move on with, with the stage here. And uh, what's inside that box? Ugh! Oh, come on, just a coin? That was not worth it. Ugh. Come on, move it. Move it, giant wiggler. Oh, I wanted to hit the box. Uh, yo! Okay. <laughs> I don't think I missed any coins there. I hope I didn't miss any coins. If I did, I'll be back, obviously. Um, let's see. Ooh, I did miss something. So I'll be back uh, after the short commercial message from our sponsor, which I don't have any sponsor, so I'm just going to cut ahead. Uh, for the record, there's this secret over here with a power block that you can use to multi-kill these wigglers, but that doesn't really help me find the coins. This is right near the beginning, obviously. Down the pipe we go! Ah, uh, there's a pipe up there, meaning that's either where I am coming or where I'm going. I'm not sure. Maybe I have to use the Zubat over there. Zubat! You- oh, not down here. Well, I can't use them now. Um... I'm guessing that's an exit pipe. I don't think I can get up there using any wiggler methods. Just say... Unless you will give me a lift up there somewhere. Unless I have to go up here? Maybe? Is there something up here? Yes, there is! Awesome! This must be where the last... Huh? What is this? Oh! Oh, I see. There's something more to this place. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in here before, actually. I don't remember this at all. And, oh, there's one up there. Uh, is, that, is that really all All there's a point to this room for? I just got another one up for having 90, I mean, uh, 100 coins there. There's that. Uh, eh. Eh. No? Nothing? Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's try going up there where those coins are, because there's a coin trail leading there, and that usually indicates a secret. I'm guessing... Oh, there's a pipe up there, so that means there's another secret up on this side. There it is! Awesome! I should always follow the coin trails. As for those coins, I don't give a poop. I just want to get out of this level and 
finish it up and probably go up to 5-3 preferably and finish the, or I should say do that stage. And so let's just run through the stage. Speed run time! Woo! Yeah! I love speed running. It's so much fun and hopefully we'll become a professional sport one day. Woo! No, I'm not gonna bounce on him this time. <laughs> I still don't know what Mario says there. It just says, it sounds like he says, Oh yeah, Mario time! Or yeah. something like that. Um, it's a good thing I had to go through that stage a second time, because as you've seen, those vines are blocking my path over here to 5-3. So now I can play it. Woohoo! So I guess uh, it was an awesome thing in disguise of something stupid. <laughs> And, oh, we've got these critters, these walking critters. You can stand underneath them safely, but they've got these thorny legs that hurt when you touch their legs. But you can just jump on them normally if you get up above them. Something like this. Yay! And that's basically, basically the gimmick of this stage. What, did I just lose a coin somehow there? Or did I spin somewhere? I don't, I don't know. I, did, I didn't see that. What happened there? <laughs> um, safety. Yes, okay. You don't have to really bother with them all that much. Just, uh, go right under them if you want to. Ooh, power-up station. I get to choose my destiny. And I would prefer a propeller mushroom. Yeah, I call it, baby. Oh, yeah. My timing is impeccable, thanks to my love of rhythm games. <laughs> and I could just use it to get this star coin, just like that, without any trouble. Normally I'd have to bounce up on uh, those critters, and uh, oh, you can't even throw a shell at their legs. Oh, that's a fine kettle of turtle. Uh, look out for the turtles, though. They will hump you, and you don't want to be accused of bestiality. That would be terrible. And, you know, they never they never blame the person. They always blame. I mean, they never blame the animal, they always blame the person, so, you know, that's what I mean by that, and I'm going to get over him, there we go. So, let's just take a look around and see where the last, ooh, I don't want to take that, I want my propeller. Ooh, I see something that might contain a coin. Oh, wait, that's a pipe that uh, propels you upward. Oh, that, that worked out pretty well, then. That was completely accidental, but it worked out great for me. So, I bet you the second coin is in here. Maybe? I don't know. Well, I got a propeller block. Not that I'll need that, obviously. Uh, I can't use... What did I do that? I, my shaking is horrible right now, I guess. And can I get... Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get them all. That's okay. And there, there isn't any coin in here? No? Oh, what a ripoff. I'm going down. Oh, okay. Where is the... Oh. There, that might be the next coin. Um, oh, I need that. I need that Koopa. I need your assistance, little guy. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be one of those things that yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, there we go. It was. It's one of those things that it traps you with throwing a shell into a place that it's gonna keep bouncing back and forth, and you have to time your jump to save yourself. And I know I was just in that pipe, but I just wanted to check it. Just what the heck of it. What the? Oh, I see. You're supposed to make him a platform to walk on. Uh, oh, donut blocks. This might be tricky. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Especially since I, got, since I got my propeller suit and all. Oh, this guy is a fast one. Look at him go. Woohoo! And I'm just going to avoid him by going way up into the sky. And I... Oh, my goodness. I nearly failed there, and I just seen something. If I hit him from underneath, I get a coin. So I guess that's how I got that coin, and you know that other time. Oh, I just see a little trap there. If you let those donut blocks fall, you couldn't go inside that pipe. Tricky, tricky, Nintendo. And that's the end of the stage, as well as this part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. What are you tipping your hat? You have no hat.